place where the boat leaves from it takes away I love your big problems You could worries, you could drive them in the blue ocean But you gotta get away to where the boat leaves from Take one part sand and one part sea And one part set of a nine on tree And the drinks are cold and the reggae is hot And I know this is the place for me Get away to where the boat leaves from It takes away I love your big problems You could worries, you could drive them in the blue ocean But you gotta get away to where the boat leaves from Jimmy Hi, this is Brandon Olikas with Citywide TV. I'm here with Roger Horner with Kaimeta, who has this unbelievable disruptive technology for a flat satellite panel. <laughs> um, tell me, tell me a little more about that. How does it work? Well, this is a very disruptive new technology. It's based on metamaterials, being developed by Kaimeta Corporation in uh, in uh, Redmond, um, uh, Washington State. The founder of, uh, of Chimeta is Dr. Nathan Kuntz, and he developed this metamaterials uh, technology whilst he was studying at Duke University. Uh, he was uh, then left and joined Intellectual Ventures, where the whole metamaterials technology was uh, developed further and spun out into Chimeta Corporation in 2012. And the metamaterials technology is not phased array. Uh, phased array technology for flat panels has been around for many years um, and developed primarily by the military. This technology is, is revolutionary and new and it's based on uh, individual uh, pixels of which there are 35,000 in the, in, the, in the panel within a glass, uh, a glass envelope exactly the same as a TV screen like the one we have behind us here, effectively a TFT screen and uh, each individual pixel can be addressed and steered, opened and closed to create and form beams to, uh, to track the satellite. The, the, one of the other fantastic uh, developments of this panel is that it can receive and transmit along the, uh, in the same panel. So this basically allows you to have just an incredibly sleek, clean, um, flat panel satellite. And how does that fit in with um, E3 and what you've been doing with them? Well, the way that we got involved with this is that we are a, an independent integrator for communications for yachts. And we've been providing uh, communication services to yachts for 20, 21 years actually now. Um, everything from uh, land-based 3G, 4G connectivity to L-band within Marsat and VSAT. And we installed the very first VSAT on a yacht in 2004. Um, with conventional stabilized dome. Now, all of the time that we've been working with uh, conventional stabilized domes, we have uh, a nice business to maintain and tune and balance them every year and, um, and, uh, main and uh, do ma regular maintenance on them. And we've always had uh, an awareness with designers that they uh, get really rather upset by their designs being ruined by having big bulbous domes put on the boats right. and uh, so when we saw the opportunity I think everybody in the industry ha um, has been looking for a flat panel flat panel technology it's been talked about for many years and when we heard about this whilst we were doing some work within Marsat in London uh, we gave Kamera a call and as a result from 2013 we've been working with Kaimeta to help evolve the, the panel uh, with the features that are needed for the yachting industry and now as a result we are uh, we've signed an agreement in April this year to distribute this to the yachting industry globally so at the moment we're setting up distribution partners worldwide uh, to be able to um, uh, train so that we can train them and certify them to install uh, the panels on yachts and uh, we've got a huge amount of interest as a result of this, not just from distribution partners, but from the market as a whole. I think we have over 650 inquiries at the moment. Well, I can imagine this is unbelievable technology, and I think this is where everything is going to be going in the future. So we've, we've talked about this amazing new technology. Um, tell me a little bit more about how the airtime works. What's the subscription service? Or 
Okay, well, airtime is clearly the other half of the, the, the product mm -hmm. and the system uh, because the panel is one thing, but it won't work without a good service. Now, the product is being launched at the moment with a service called Kalo uh, from Kymetra and Intelsat, uh, which is, again, a different approach to airtime. It's based on the cell phone model. The cell phone model... Uh, where you actually pay for a monthly amount of data, you get a monthly allowance. Um, and there is a best effort service, four meg down, one meg up, but there is no guarantee. Uh, but if there is an overload with a number of users, then Intelsat will be adding more bandwidth and availability. And this is novel. This is completely novel. So we're starting off with a radical panel, a revolutionary disruptive new piece of technology on the hardware side, but we're also taking on a um, a, um, a, a different model. approach to a um, new business model for the way that airtime is sold um, and provided with it. And every panel that we provide comes with 12 months of free airtime. Oh, wow. It comes with Kalo airtime. It comes with a uh, X7 iDirect modem, the panel, um, and 12 months of airtime. So you can take it out of the box power it on, and you've got 12 months of use with the service directly. That's cool, so you buy it and you're good for a year. Yeah, yeah. In fact, you're good for two years because effectively you can do six months if you're a seasonal yacht. You can just do six months of your season when so you, you use it this year and then put the other six months the following year. Okay. Yeah. So thank you so much for your time. This is unbelievable technology. I think you guys are really changing the face of yachting. Um, this is Brandon Olikas with Citywide TV signing out. I got from a hard day's work, she was sweeter than a king in the world. She smelled the cup in the kitchen, looking in the faces of the two. Legend lives on from the Chippewa on down of the big lake they call Gitchagumi. The lake, it is said, never gives up her dead when the skies of November turn gloomy. With a load of iron ore, 26,000 tons more than the Hedman Fitzgerald. That good ship and true was a bone to be chewed When the gales of November came early The ship was the pride of the American side Coming back from some mill in Wisconsin As the big freighters go, it was bigger than most With a crew and good captain well seasoned Concluding some terms with a couple of steel firms When they left fully loaded for Cleveland Then later that night when the ship's bell rang Could it be the north wind they'd been feeling? 